Steve, I want to thank you for coming on the nursing show and um, thank Ergotron for putting together this partnership so we can talk about nurse injury and, and some of the workplace strain that we undergo. I, I love my standing and sit standing adjustable workstation that I have from Ergotron. And um, I, I just know that as a, a, and having worked in the hospital with different types of carts and computer things and it, you know, it, having one that's adjustable is just so key. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. But um, first off, welcome to the show. Great. Thanks a lot, Jamie. It's great to be here. Um, I'm actually standing right now at my, my, my stand-up workstation. Well, me too. And, and it's, it's integral to my studio setup because I do all my recording for all of my episodes, various shows that I do, and interviews. I do them standing up, and I have that workstation right in front of me. Um, then when I go to do some of the editing, I'll, I'll sit down again, um, move it to, to that position um, so that I can work on multiple monitors, and then move it back up. And it's just having that capability of adjusting it um, and I'm a rather tall person, so you know the change is significant from when I'm standing to sitting. Um, and, and so nurses need that flexibility as well, and also things like um, placement of the keyboard tray and all of those little things that make up uh, a big thing. And um, let's talk a little bit about nurse injury in the workplace. I think we often think about this always being related to patient handling. But there are the common workplace repetitive stress injuries that happen in, in offices surrounding computer and data entry and all of those things. Absolutely. Well, let's, let's, let's actually take a, a trip back in time and look at the way a nurse did her job 30 years ago prior to, you know, computerization of the patient record. You had a nurse that had their information and the, the centralized hub of all that information was that nursing station. Mm -hmm. And the information um, that was being captured via charting and, you know, in a paper chart was done primarily sitting down. Mm -hmm. So you you had a nurse that went out into the um, nursing area, generally without the chart, and did their their caregiving and then came back to that nursing station because there was only one record of that patient mm -hmm. patient record. And it was at the nursing station and then they'd grab the chart, they would sit down and it was a load off their feet. They got a rest. They, um, paper is a very ergonomic product. You can position it very easily where you want it to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. And they would position it, do their, their, their documentation, close up that chart, put it back on the chart rack and then continue on. In the in now with with the computerized patient record, we have the ability to have access to information everywhere, and and that's one of the reasons why why hospitals went went computerized. So it was easy access to information, and there's a lot of data out there that says easier access to information means um, better patient care. Um, but now we're taking that sort of break away and we're giving technology to nursing and not taking into consideration what it actually does to their rest periods, to their overall ergonomics, um, and the engagement they have with that technology with a patient. So let me give you a, for instance, um, tablet technology. Everyone's mm -hmm. talking about tablets, right? We all have tablets. I'm working on a tablet right now. Um, and what, what do we do to a nurse if we now give them a tablet to, to be documenting? So that paper goes away mm -hmm. and I now have something which I'm holding on to and how am I positioning it to record information or view information? Am I standing? Am I sitting? Um, when I go to the patient bedside, how am I engaging that information ergonomically? Um, and it, it doesn't take into consideration, you know, keyboarding, mousing skills and things like, like that, that are going to, you know, deal with certain repetitive stress injuries. You look at um, what, what, what we call in, in, in healthcare IT cows, computer on wheels, or WOWs, workstation mm -hmm. on wheels. These are um, carts with computers on them that are generally over about a, over 100 pounds um, that nurses wheel around with their wireless connection to their patient care record. And they, they're wheeling these things and pushing these around to the bedside and sitting in the possibly trying to sit and engage that patient at their level, but that cart or that solution that they have is not er ergonomic to that. So right. they're needing to position 
improperly and and to try to engage that information or hover over that patient and stand for long periods of time because that cart doesn't go to a sitting posture and the keyboard's not at the right height and they don't have individual monitor adjustability. So now you you put more and more of these carts, these unergonomic carts in these nursing um, areas, Mm -hmm. you make these nursing areas, you have to, you know, they're running out of space, so there's not enough space for everything. So that is their only means of gaining access to information. And they're sitting in a very unergonomic posture because that cart is not properly adjustable. And they're not at the right eye level with the monitor. Their keyboard is 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 out of sync um, with their with their eyes uh, and and the monitor. And they're doing this day after day after day, and it's causing repetitive stress injuries. And um, you know, with the amount of information, the amount of time that they are taking and doing documentation, um, it's it's amazing that we it's not getting enough really enough uh, attention out there. 35% of a nurse's time is spent doing documentation, is actually in front of a chart and doing documentation, while only 19% is actually patient care. So think about one-third of their day. They could be in a very uncomfortable and a stressful situation, uh, body stress, and that is causing these these injuries, neck strains, back strains that um, just over a, a period of time are really having a detrimental um, effect to their health and their overall attitude. Um, that's that's one thing our, our our research has shown that they are nurses are very concerned about their um, placement of their technology and what it's doing to their mood. They're feeling that because they are um, not comfortable, they feel that they are having a negative patient interaction because they're, they're in pain. So, um, you know, there's, it's, it's been very interesting, very eye-opening with this, uh, with this research that, that we've done. How did you do that research? I mean, was it just a survey that you sent out to through, um, you know, through your channels to nurses? Uh, tell us a little bit about how that that came about. So we we um, we we contracted with a uh, with a an independent research firm, GMI Research, um, back in March of uh, 2014, and they went and um, uh, surveyed 250 nurses um, from all over the United States. 91% were were female, um, 64% had nursing degrees, um, and they were 66% were between the ages of 45 and 64 years old. And that that was really eye opening too. Well, I, I guess we all know that the the working um, the working population is actually getting older. Mm-hmm. So um, 50% were working nine to 12 hours or more. Yep. So when we looked at that the information and and we asked them some very very pointed questions and these these weren't questions that were like that were vendor they were it was completely vendor neutral um, they were asking questions about um, you know what how do you feel about about actual ergonomics within your environment and there was twenty eight percent that came back of those two fifty that said you know they want an ergonomics team to in their environment to help support them and they wow. don't have it. Um, and uh, about about a quarter of them said they wanted more solutions with sit to stand functionality. Um, so when we when we went through and, and gathered all of this 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 data, there was you know some of the key ones that that came out to me were um, you know sixty percent came back and said that they thought their job was negatively impacting their overall health, and how do you, I mean, if I was in a job, would you want to be in a job that you know is bad for you? Yeah. Um, and, and nurses right now um, are, um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a great nursing sh- shortage. Our schools are not getting enough nurses out there. Um, there's, there's a predicted high nursing shortage in the next 10 years. So a nurse can actually leave their job and pretty much get a job anywhere else. 
It's right. not hard. There's a lot of positions open. So there are nurses that are actually either leaving the profession or going to hospitals and during their interview pro- process, one of the three things that they're asking about is the actual EMR system and what, how do they actually grab information and how comfortable are they with, with that? And they add some very pointed questions around that. So, um, you know, when, when, when you have 50% of this survey coming out and saying that they felt a level of discomfort while inputting charting data, um, that is that will really affect the questions that they're going to ask in their actual jobs. Yeah, and they're spending, like you said, in this survey you found, um, they're spending anywhere from three and a half to maybe close to five hours a day, depending on the length of their shift, just putting information into the computerized chart. And yep. they're doing so in, in many cases in a position that is harming them. And I mean, this is not something that's surprising to me as a nurse myself. Uh, you know, I see uh, that we are very good at caring for others. We're not so good at caring for ourselves and each other. Um, and, and that's because we, we so focus on our patients that we do so often at the, to the detriment of our own care. Um, and, and that's not a good thing. And so we really rely on others uh, to make sure that our workplace is, is set up in such a way that we can do our jobs safely and we can do our jobs uh, in such a way that we stay working where we're working without injury. Um, so what is, what is this, some of the things that a nurse can look for um, when they're maybe interviewing at a location and maybe they're shadowing a nurse in a new hospital to see if they want to get a job there um, to take an offered position there, let's say. Uh, what, what are some of the things they can look for in the computerized workstations that would be an indication that they're going to be able to have this type of functionality that they need to work safely? Well, they, they, I, I think they have to really research and, and know some of the ergonomic standards that are out there. And, and you know, that's a, that's a hard thing to, 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 to learn. But it's, um, there are some easy things that, that a person can ask. So um, when, they, when they talk about how are you, I always say, you know, what, how are you bringing information to the bedside? Um, we, we want to bring information to the bedside and get information to the, 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 the patient. And each hospital is doing that differently. So they have to ask about, okay, well, how are you getting information? How are you doing your charting? And um, someone might say, well, we're using carts. You know, and, and carts are the only way that, 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 that we're doing that. Well, I think you ask some questions about the actual ergonomics of, of that solution they're, they're using. Um, do you, are you doing it? Are you doing it standing up? Are you doing it sitting down? Are, is there physical adjustability? Um, a lot of hospitals now are getting their nurses involved with the selection of these solutions. Um, but unfortunately, they're not educating them enough on um, how to ask the right questions around it. So I'll give you a, a for instance. Um, if I said to you, is this an ergo, do you feel this is an ergonomic solution? Or if I said to you, how much adjustability does this solution have? Or I said to you, how, how does this have 20 inches of sit stand height adjustability? Um, any ergonomist is going to tell you that any sit stand solution needs to have a minimum of 20 inches of height adjustability in order to hit 95% of the, the U.S. population. So if they have a solution that let's say only has 12 inches and they say, well, hey, well, you're primarily using carts, how much height adjustability is there? And they say, well, there's only 12 inches. You know that that's going to be a solution that people are going to, if I'm a five foot one nurse, I'm going to be challenged in both a standing and sitting position with only 12 inches of, of physical adjustability. Another thing you, they want to, you want to ask, they want to ask about is if they're not using a cart based solution and they are using, let's say a wall mount uh, Mm -hmm. based solution is my back to the patient while I'm doing my documentation. So if, if they're using fixed stations within those patient rooms and they're at the foot of the bed, uh, you know, not on, on, on a head wall, but on the, um, you know, the opposite side of the bed, are they constantly engaging the patient and sort of having to look over their shoulder and twist 
and document you know that 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 initial assessment when the patient is admitted that they might be sitting there for or standing or sitting there for 20 minutes um what is that doing to them and they have to do that day after day after mm -hmm. day those are all good things, and I think that we could um, point to some more resources. Um, you know, we want to thank Ergotron. You guys have great solutions. I've already talked about the fact that I use one in my situation. You have great specifically made for medical solutions, and we'll have links to all of those in our show notes and links to people so that nurses can look because you're right. They are getting asked to give input into what kind of carts are brought into their workplace and what kind of things they should be looking for. And, and hopefully we can continue to do segments like this one, Steve, where we educate them on how to do that. Um, any final thoughts for someone in the workplace, uh, nurses out there that are looking at um, just trying to improve the way they work and do so safer? I, I would just say get involved. Do, do not – if if there is a – a lot of hospitals these days are having these technology fairs where where new solutions are being brought in and they're asking nurses to um, – for their opinion. You need to get either – you need to be involved. I've seen too many of these technology – um, affairs where the nurses have not been involved and um, and it's not it's because you know there's not enough nurses staff they don't have the time to be to get involved so pressure your IT department to have nursing involvement to make the right decisions that actually work in the nursing environment don't look for the cool pink solution really think about the functionality and your day-to-day -day work around that solution I think that's great advice. And you can find out more information, head over to ergotron.com and look at the resources there for healthcare. Uh, you'll be amazed and, and I think really pleasantly uh, pleased with the type of resources and equipment that you can get from them. And again, Steve, thanks for making yourself available and maybe we can have you on here again in the future. Uh, it would be my pleasure. Thanks, Jamie.